what is going on welcome back to the channel we have a new piece of edc gear to open up and show you guys i just got it today in the mail and it is from olight so if you don't know who olight is they are a manufacturer of flashlights um, they make this little guy it's called the i1r2 eos it's a keychain light um, i was contemplating getting one of these not too long ago for my keychain or keep it in the car or something like that they're pretty cheap they come in about 20 bucks uh, they come with a little recharger cable you can get them without the cable for i think like 15 bucks uh, but they had a black friday deal a couple weeks ago where as, as long as you had an account on their website which is free to create you add this to your cart you pay five dollars shipping and they will send it out to you for nothing so i jumped on that uh, obviously the only caveat to it is you can't pick the color now i don't know if they all come like this or if i actually got a teal one or mint green i think is actually what it's called um they had a black they had like a desert tan a purple and a teal so i'll know once i open this up what color it is doesn't really matter to me i would prefer black or the the desert sandstone whatever but if i get purple or teal is what it is probably go in the car um it's supposed to be a pretty good light according to the review so we'll see i guess i i have a few flashlights that i do carry um It'll be easy to compare to those because I know what those uh, output, how they work. Um, this is going to be pretty mild in comparison to those. Um, but I do have a few other Olight uh, products. The uh, first is my newest, actually. It's uh, it's called the O-Pen 2. And this one's in copper. Uh, this was a limited run. They made uh, just under 10,000 of these. They made 9,999. Um, so this is a pen, as you can see on the end here. And it has a bolt action style operation for the uh, the pen tip, which is pretty cool. I always wanted a bolt action uh, pen. I'll probably get a few more, not of these, but I, I do like the bolt action style. Um, and then it has a little flashlight on the top. As you can see, there's a lens there. And you just push the button on top and the light goes on. If you hold it down, it goes even brighter. And then it can go even brighter. So it's pretty bright. I haven't used this much. Um, I carry a different pen every day, but I do carry this one on occasion. Um, it is pretty neat. I like it. I like the milled clip. It has a very sturdy milled clip on it. It's uh, it's nice. It's a nice piece. Uh, you can't get these anymore. They are all sold out. So uh, if you didn't get one, you're gonna have to try to get one aftermarket. But uh, other than that. The next one up is I have this. This is also a copper. This was my first uh, copper flashlight uh, that I got. Actually, it's my only copper flashlight. I consider that a pen with a light on it. And this one is a, uh, this is a big brother to this one, I guess. It's the i5T EOS. Obviously, this is the one, uh, one R2. So this is uh, pretty hefty because it's in copper. Um, very good light though. It's it's not super bright. I, I want to say this one's about uh, 150 lumens on low. It has two different modes, just like the small one and just like the pen. I think the pen actually has three modes. It's a tail switch. Um, pretty pretty nice light though. It has these uh, these clips that they kind of specialize in, um, or at least I've never seen them on anything else. But you can wear them two different ways. You can hook it on something this way, or you can put it under this way. So it's meant to go like on a hat. You can put it on the bill of a hat and still have it facing forward uh, for work purposes or whatever. If you were um, clipping it onto whatever, you could put it on a shoulder piece, I guess. I don't know. I just keep it in my pocket and I use it in my hand. And then the one I carry every day, this is my... I think it's a SR2, S2R Baton 2. So this is my most used light. This thing is awesome. It uh, at first was a it was pretty big for me in my pocket. Uh, this was my selling feature here. It's got magnetic charging. So you just take out this little magnetic thing, it slaps on there. The only thing I don't like about it is that it is a side switch instead of a tail switch. I do prefer a tail switch. I've gotten used to this because I've been carrying it for, I don't know, about a year or so. Um, and I do literally carry this every day unless I'm carrying the, the copper one and I have another um, uh, Fenix light that I do carry. But I would say 99% of the time, this is what I carry. It is super bright. It has a couple different modes. Um, 
you can see there but uh, yeah it's super bright it's uh holds a charge really well I can go for like a month because I don't use it all the time I probably use it a few times a week and it's only for a few seconds here and there looking for something I'm not hunting around for hours of stuff but it has come in tremendous handy over the years um, all right so let's get right into this I guess and we'll open this up and uh, see what we got in the package and uh, see how this thing is I don't know if it's charged or not so I'm hoping it is So it looks like I did get a mint green one. So I'm assuming that the uh, the box does indicate what you're getting. So it looks like I got mint green, which is fine. It's a tiny little guy. Okay, so there's the charging port. It's a twist action. Oh, there, that's the... Oh, it's cool. I like that. It's just a little, um, it's not momentary, but it's a little action, twist action to turn on and off. So as you twist right and tighten it up, the low beam goes on, which uh, it's actually not that bad. It's not as dim as I thought it would be um, at the five lumens. And then the 150, it is definitely comparable, I would say, to... Uh, my copper guy. Actually, it's definitely it's brighter for sure. It is brighter. So I don't know what this one comes in at, um, but it is not 150 lumens, uh, or this one is just that much better. Um, but this is this is good. I like this. This thing is bright. I'll have to throw it on the charger. I, I like this. It's kind of like spring loaded. So. Uh, the body is is uh, secure though. You can't you can't pull this apart once it pops out. So you push in and then twist, and then there's an O-ring seal right here that will seal it up. That looks like it's probably a stop. So when it gets down in there, very cool. Oops, the package and here's the cable and the instructions. I don't think there's anything in here that I don't know about yet. Oh, the charging indicator. Oh, that's what that is. So I was mistaken. That's a little LED charging indicator. So it says red is charging, green is charged completed, or charging completed. Comes with this little USB cable, caps on each end. So it is a USB, oh, that is funky. It's like, uh, it's like a USB-A connector, but um, it's like the inside of a USB-A connector and it's to a uh, micro USB. USB-C would be nicer, obviously, because everything's kind of going that way, but I'm assuming these were designed um, before those were super, super popular or getting, I mean, they're still not crazy popular. They're, they're getting there. Everything's going that way. But at one time, everything kind of was micro USB, so don't really blame them. I do like the flat cable though. I wish it was longer. It's always kind of a pain in the butt, but this will be nice. I can keep this in my uh, console. I have a USB connector in my console, so I can just leave this in there. I'll probably leave the caps on it actually, so it doesn't get dirty. And then uh, when it's needed, I can just charge it up. But uh, very cool. I'm glad I got this thing. Big shout out to Olight. Uh, they didn't have to do all, you know, all that uh, shipping of free stuff. It did take a couple weeks to get it, which I uh, can't blame them. They're shipping out 50,000 of these things, plus all the stuff that people ordered over Black Friday. I'm sure they got a ton of orders because they had all sorts of deals where if you bought a certain model, you got another model for free or for cheaper or something like that. But uh, can't wait to use this thing. Glad I got it. Big shout out to Olight, like I said. And... Uh, for now, I guess that's it. So uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.